again, I have, um, I'm looking for a third order determinant. And you could use either method. I'm going to actually expand along um, row one. That has a zero in it, so I'm going to use expansion of the minors. You could have also used row two or three. They all have zeros in them, but these also have smaller numbers. So I'm going to go for row one. Now, with the expansion of the minors, I want to keep track of my positive and negative signs. So I'm going to start with zero, and that's associated with a positive. And when I expand that, I'm going to eliminate this first column and this first row. And it's going to leave me with 3063. The next, I'm going to rewrite this, 2, 3, 4, so that you can see very clearly. Next number I'm working with is 2, and that's associated with a negative sign. So I'm going to write negative 2. It's in row 1, column 2. Get rid of those and see that I'm left with 4003. Okay. Next, rewriting this original. I'm now working with the 3, and that has a positive sign associated with it. So po plus 3. Eliminate the row it's in and the column it's in. 4306. Okay, now I have zero times this determinant. That's just going to be, it's just going to drop out. So I'm not even going to waste my time figuring out that determinant. These other ones, I use AD minus BC. To find those. So I have minus 2 times, this is 4 times 3, minus 0 times 0. Plus, okay, so I have this taken care of, plus 3 times AD minus BC. So that's 4 times 6 minus 0 times 3. Okay, do the math now. This is just 0, it's going to drop out minus 2 times 12 minus 0, plus 3 times 24 minus 0. This becomes 0 minus 2 times 12, plus 3 times, this is just 24. Let's get rid of the 0 at this point. Negative 2 times 12 is negative 24. 3 times 24 is 72. Negative 24 plus 72 equals 48. Okay, so we found this third order determinant by using expansion of the minors along row 1 and being careful to keep the signs straight on the numbers associated with those and crossing out the row and column for each number to find the associated minor. Then once I had those, I saw this first one's just going to drop out. For the second and third, I used AD minus BC to figure this out, multiplied this one by negative 2, and this one by 3. Working that out gave me 48. So that concludes this session of educator.com on determinants. I'll see you next lesson.